And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved Toxic Factory. Yay! Uh, so yeah, I'm still up here. We need to find the active hive. Now, I I've covered this many, many times, but uh, a lot of people come in on these and uh, don't really know how to do it. So, uh, what you do is you get into a deep, dark place. Okay, some place that uh, you don't have any lights. Uh, and then you turn on your hollow base and let let it load in because it, it takes a while to load in and uh, your frame rate may get a hitch now every one of these green squares that are kind of out in the middle of nowhere those are inact those are hives but they're inactive they're not the active hive uh, so we need to find there it is right there the one that looks like a squiggly tentacle monster straight out of Lovecraftian horror that is the active hive and it looks like it is almost right below our little slime farm here so that is interesting uh, but it's it's rel oh, oh, oh there goes the frames oh lord okay so right in here if you can see it right down here straight down should be where it is so dig down far enough now if you destroy it there's there's the resin if you destroy it with a explosive another one will be active another one of those will, will activate uh, so you know if if it's not in an ideal spot you can destroy it and uh, hope hope that another one because it's it goes by how close it is to the CPH. Uh, so we are 53 below, and uh, I can turn off. I can turn off the hollow base. You hit K, by the way, to do that. So this is where the hive is. Now I want to dig out a little area around. So this is kind of the center of it here. Uh, so we're gonna try to get a good hive farm going. Uh, so we're gonna want there's a bunch of coal right there I need to find a way to get in and around this thing. ooh there there we go yeah, they're always they're always attached to a cave somewhere so you'll never find one just absolutely buried somewhere there, there's always a little opening even if it's a small opening wow there's really bright down there that must have been an a place that I was looking uh, okay so the thing we're gonna want to do is get power down here uh, so let's drop down ow uh, I want to drop down below it a little bit and start to build a little platform for us to uh, how far down do I want to go with this uh, that looks like the end right there so if I do one and then be easier just to have some torches to, to light this up so don't keep you know there we go a little light so if I want to put something right underneath this like the processing will go there a battery one two three that'll be a battery and then I need probably a, another spot one two three for a turbine so right down here could be a floor so let's mark that and uh, put this here so I want a floor that's too thick okay so let's see we're gonna go out a ways And I'll finalize this design. Uh, I want to just get right underneath this thing. Like right underneath it. So like pick the middle, which should be fairly easy to see. And then plop down whatever you use to excavate. So that's smack in the middle of that hive and it, we've got good coverage on all sides 
And I stopped making these so big because of reasons. I need to take this glow tube out. A very deep glow tube. I should pop that. Okay, so we need this to be uh, drop none. We also need to clear ore. Well, let's let's not do the clear ore right away. I don't want to clear ore right away. But it should do 30 high and give me a good good vantage point of where this hive is. Now the issue is power. Is there a place that we can bring power down uh, and not upset the balance of the force here? Uh, so if we want, I think right in here is probably a good good spot to clear so I'm gonna I'm gonna clear that see where that falls and it fell I think right right here so that spot which is 1252 1252 so let's head up whoa no oh. I miss I miss my window. Okay. I need to get back up. I'm gonna not have that sitting there. So twelve fifty two. Wow, the hive really Okay, so let's head back up here. So twelve right here. Twelve fifty two. Um, uh, all right. This should go straight down. And, uh, yeah, we're going to pick up. Should connect into... Oh, I fell. So we'll, we should fall. There's the end right here. And we hit coal. Is this a really big coal vein? Uh, yeah, it actually is a really big coal vein. Wow. Two million coal right here? This is... Okay, there's the end. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Alright, so let's get back up there. We need power to drop right straight down there. And, uh, yeah, we picked up a little bit. There's a little bit of garbage in our system, but uh, that's okay. So I could solar power this. Oh, I don't, have, I don't have a battery. So let's throw a battery in there. Now, can I solar power this? I think I could right beside there. Uh, and yeah, there's no, there's no sun. There's no sun yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to send power down, send it over. It has impacted wall. Um, which hopefully makes it all the way. Yeah, I think it. I think it uh, makes it all the way down. That's good. Um, the other thing we could do is just beam power from somewhere else. Uh, somewhere we have power. Like right in here, we could beam power. Oh, not easily at all. There's a big old coal vein right in the way. From here, we could beam power. Yeah, from here, we could beam it. So we're going to drain that battery out. Okay. So I need to fall down there again. Ow. Okay. That one hurt. 
So now we can beam it right over and let this thing start. And while this thing is doing its thing, there it goes. And I put it down this one so it clears clears everything. We need to get this ready to go. We are 74 down, so we could we could feed it from down here as well. Uh, can I peek out here? I can. Yay! Uh, let's build ourselves a little bit bigger of a platform. And there's even some organic rock down here to be had. And there's some coal right here that we could use to feed the system. Uh, not much coal, but there's some copper too. I bet you there's a lot of copper in there. Oh yeah, there's significant, significant amount of copper. Uh, all right. So that side is done. I need to come over here. Yeah, we we have a little bit, little need for a platform here. Ooh, that drops off pretty rapidly. Okay, now that I'm out of that little area, let's uh, continue this platform out a little ways. Because I want, again, I want a double thick reinforced wall around this thing. Um, Okay, so we are 74, so if I super build from this, we're going to go up 64, so that'll leave 10. I'll go, I'll go up pretty much past, past the minus 20, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. I'm going to let this dig out. Dig out the 30 high that it's defaulted to, and then we'll see... It shouldn't take too long to dig out. It doesn't have... It's not a full block in here. Okay. I need to clear this stuff out. Because, again, we're going to do a double thick wall. So, we're going to need to dig this one out as well. all that stuff out and it just gives me a little bit of garbage to, to dump in the garbage system which I've got down in the toxic toxic factory so system down there will grab all this garbage or I could just manual put it put it in as well all right most of this is done now let's it's a little dark down here still. Uh, let's light it up just a little bit. Uh, is that okay? That's why that's dim. We're not we're not maximum brightness here. Okay, so one over here, one over here. Let's light up my edges. We're gonna want one. Fill in all my gaps here. I might actually, once this is done, increase the radius by one and have it have it dig out one wider than I really need. And I think there's a glow. I think there's a glow shroom or something up there that's purplish. So yeah, once it hits this, it it has to check through this. Uh, it has to go through and check all these blocks. So it does slow down once it hits the hive, but uh, it should should have no problems kicking that out. So I'm gonna clear these because it's not gonna clear this bottom row. But yeah, I can I can raise the radius by one and it will clear out where I want my wall. Because my wall is going to be right here. Uh, let's take those out too. 
And, you know, the reinforced rock, or the reinforced concrete, any block that's labeled as reinforced, uh, it, it doesn't, you know, guarantee that the hive won't build through it. If the hive has nowhere else to go, it will, it will go through it. So, as long as the hive has room to build, or room to expand, it won't break through a reinforced system. Uh, and we need this to... Oh, man! <laughs> Did not expect that at all. Okay. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a long fall. And I am way away from where I need to be. Yay! I survived. I'll take that. Not that I need it, but... Grab the organic rock where you can. Okay, where was that little drop-off? That was very unexpected. Okay. I need to make sure... These are ready to go. So yeah, while while that's digging out, you can you know prepare your floor and all that kind of stuff, and get ready for the hive. Uh, I've already done the research, so we're uh, we're good to go on that front. Just a matter of getting power down here. Ooh yeah, there's another drop off right there. Getting power down here and all that kind of good stuff. So we're gonna clear this three away. And come over here. I could go right to the end here. That'll allow me to see it. I can just do this stuff that's hard to see. Okay, so the entire floor is now reinforced. It's good what we like to see. So you can see it's stopping as it's going through and, and looking at all these. It's pausing, pausing, and go through. Oh, there, it's going to continue. Because it, ha it has to look at the blocks. It has to analyze the blocks to see if it's able to, to destroy them. So if it's... If, uh, if you're using the excavator and it pauses or it stops, it doesn't mean that it's not doing its job. It just means that it's it's hitting a block that it's not sure that it's capable of clearing. So this is the outside wall that I'm putting together right now. And the inside wall will go on the inside of this whole build. So this this one is the the final wall in here. And I'm gonna I'm I'm not clearing that just yet. I, I wanna see where where the ore is. Because we have that huge coal vein up there, uh, and I'm not sure if we're going to be clearing that or not. Uh, this should be only about five, yeah, five power per second. You can change the the power draw of of the excavator using the XMLs. Pretty, pretty straightforward process. So this is all done. Now it's just a matter of you know, digging it up. I'm gonna clear, try to clear all these cave decorations here. Sometimes they don't, they don't like to disappear, so I like to get rid of them if I can. Like these aren't going away. I don't know why. See that one goes away, but these up here not so not so fruitful. Sometimes they don't like to go away. Uh, you can just build over them. So I take this and 
build over them like that. That gets rid of them. There we go. Okay, so if we have a system under here, we're going to need one around and through, and we're also going to need power, so we're going to need a way of bringing uh, fuel down here and returning empty canisters, which luckily we're making topside. So this this is gonna take a while. So we can we can move on. Just make sure this isn't on clear all, because I've heard of reports that it it will actually take out the hive mind, the hive core that's in the center of this. Uh, it will it will clear that uh, if you have it on clear all. So don't don't have it on clear all when you're doing this. Just clear garbage or clear ore should work just fine. Okay, let's uh, head back top side. See what our threat is at. There we go. I need to clear one out here. That way, that won't happen again. All right, so this is now powered up. Uh, I don't think I need that laser anymore. Uh, I'm gonna take that laser away. Oh, get over there before it beacon. Okay, good. Okay, we need to check this as well. We probably have a little bit of a little bit of rock in there. Look at that. We're up to 1,100 re, uh, recombined matter just from just from this process. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Everything's all good up here, I think. Uh, what's our threat at? Threat shouldn't be too bad. Our our factory has calmed down quite a bit. We're not doing any research, and yeah, our threat thirty six hundred. That's that's very manageable with the defense level that we have right now. Uh, I want to see if I can break the research lab. Uh, we did do a research. I'm not sure what we unlocked. Overclocker. That's what we unlocked. Yeah, see, I can't... Research station cannot be dug up. I can't actually move that down to the toxic factory, unfortunately. So, that kind of stinks. Okay. While that is digging, we need to think about... Oh, ouch. The unsuspecting. Ooh, then we got another attack coming in. Oh. Oops. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. Let a beacon pick that up. Yeah, these lower threat levels really give you a lot of organic loot because it's mostly these smaller, smaller wasps, and a lot of them, so... A lot of organic loot from that. So how are we going to run through this? We have this huge coal or copper vein back here. We got a gigantic coal vein that we dug through. Uh, I'm not sure if this is part of that. Let's scan it. Nope, it's not. So, yeah, we're going to need to get this done. I'll let this, in between episodes, let this run its course, clear everything out, and then we'll make a decision on what we want to do from there. I'm not sure if we're going to need that huge coal vein, but, you know, it's going to be there if we do. Uh, I'd rather not clear it all out. Holy slimes. 
They're just raining down. I'm trying to watch. See if any more pristine stuff comes through here. Nope. Drop off what I've got. And right over here. Shouldn't have anything else on me. A little bit of garbage, a little bit of coal. Uh, I can, you know, make some torches with that. I can dump the rest in my garbage collector. So yeah, we we've lost what four times. Uh, this is not telling me, huh? I thought it always told me. All right, well that'll do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.